been involved in any of that. I just basically played in front of the camera. And uh, when that faded out, I just left the show business and uh, got into entirely new ventures. I think you put it the right way, is that you got to play in front of the camera. So. Yeah, well, it wasn't play. It was very hard work. Those, that was the wrong word. I mean, it was very, very hard work being a kid actor. A lot of pressure and stress. Would you recommend that? For no. I, as far as I'm concerned, they should keep their kids out of the business, let them have a normal life, go to school, get a quality education. Then if they want to try it as adults and it doesn't work out, they'll have something to fall back on. Yes, Paul. I know. I'm, I'm here today at the Mid-Atlantic uh, Nostalgia Convention with, with uh, Jay North and Jeannie Russell of, of the Dennis the Menace fame, and, and they're certainly known uh, in, in the film industry. Uh, I, I certainly, uh, with the CelebrityCharities.com, uh, we are uh, mentioning certainly any causes or, or particular charities that that either one of them would have a particular support of. Uh, is there any a charity or organization that you have uh, a particular well, fondness? Yes, I'm, I'm an animal lover, and my friend, our friend John Provost is involved with Canine Companions. Oh, and oh. so, yeah, so I, I, that charity I, I really respect, and I respect his work. I think he's doing wonderful things with his fame and his name. Oh, that, that's wonderful, because uh, with our website, we, we would put a, a link to, to that organization okay. as well. And uh, so that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. that's glad to, I'm glad to know that that's uh, about the animal. Do you know who John Provost yes, is? I, okay. Yes, I do okay. know who John Okay, yes, Timmy yes. on Lassie, for anyone who doesn't know. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's right. Timmy. Okay. That's right, Jeannie. And, and Jay, do you have uh, any other Well, my or? favorite probably is uh, in California. Mm -hmm. It's called a cat's tail, and it helps find find uh, homes for uh, abandoned cats. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm a big cat lover. I have 50, my wife and I have 15 cats living at our house. Oh, gracious. And we love them all. I mean, we feed our, we have uh, our cats who stay indoors and then we feed about seven other strays that come up every night. But we have about uh, eight, eight cats living in the house with us. Oh my, that's yeah, wonderful. We love them. <laughs> and I'm sure, now, now the names of all, all that kitties, how do you keep them all straight? You know? Oh, well, it's just uh, we know them all, all by uh, recognizing each one of them, and they've, they've had some very unusual names given to them. Oh, oh okay. Well, uh, would you share a couple of those? Oh, it's not <laughs> really important. <laughs> oh, I just was wondering. It is uh, it, yes, it is. The little yeah. kitties, yeah. Oh, I know. Well, I, I, I do want to ask also. Um, uh, as far as a, a particular person, like possibly in, in your life, that was that had the most influence on on you and, and to, to making you the person that that you that you are. Well, that would be my mother. She instilled a deep sense of faith and and positive outlook on life, and I try and emulate her. She was a wonderful person, a wonderful mother. Oh, that's wonderful. I mm -hmm. understand that. Mm -hmm. that's, and, and yourself, Jay? I guess my mother, even though she pushed me into show business, I. I guess, you know, she guided me, and I'm the person I am today, I guess, because of her. I mean, she taught me values and that type of thing, so probably her. That's, that's wonderful. Well, thank you for that. And uh, I also want to ask uh, what particular uh, involvement or, or projects that you all are, are involved in currently or what you're doing. Uh, if you could uh, tell well, us a little bit about I've, it. Well, I'm a doctor of chiropractic, and I've had my own business for 32 years, and I'm moving into semi-retirement, semi oh. which I'm, <laughs> I'm ready, you know, oh. but I, I enjoy oh. my patients, but it's sort of nice to change gears in my business. Oh, that's good. And that's good. it'll give me more time to do things like this, coming out to conventions. Well, and that's fascinating. Mm -hmm. and certainly, thank you. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. And yourself, Jay? I'm a prison guard in uh, Florida. I've worked for the Florida Department of Corrections for 19 years. And I have five more years to go before I retire. Oh, well, that's wonderful. You both are, you both are very... I noticed that you maintained... Uh, you, actually, I'm, I would think that you could use your acting skills in working with, with prisoners. Yeah. You have a very commanding voice and, and uh, a confidence. I would expect that. Yeah, you have to exude confidence when you're working with, uh, with the criminal offenders. You have to let them know that you're in control and you're... you're you, what you say is God. <laughs> you're not Dennis the Menace. That's right. You're not Dennis the Menace. You're, you're a correctional officer, Officer Jay North, and you're totally removed from uh, totally removed from my fame 50 years ago, and 
I say this is who I am now. You don't need to address me as Mr. Menace or whatever, or Dennis or whatever, because that's how they used to refer to me. And I said, hey, I'm Officer J. North. I'm a correctional officer now. I don't act anymore. That was a chapter in my life that's closed. So that's how I handle that. <laughs> and, and now I'm going to let you up. <laughs> toys offhand. Any toys or anything that all right. Well I also uh, what what hobbies or interests do you have uh, in addition to your work? Do you have any, uh, any particular other you know, outside hobbies just to Well I like music. And the answer to your, that the previous question was Slinky is all I can oh, come sorry, up with. I love toy. a Slinky, yeah. yeah <laughs> I toy. love so, uh, that that's the one thing I can think of. Um, I have always loved music. My parents are musicians, and my significant other is a um, is a professional musician. And I have, in the last two and a half years, all my free time is spent, you know, going to gigs with him and, and hanging out with his friends. And I've I've heard fantastic music, big band, jazz, oh. you know, even classical, beautiful Christmas music. So oh, goodness, well, what instrument? Is trumpet. It? Oh, trumpet. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's yeah. fascinating. Yeah. That's fat. Well, it's a lot of fun, isn't it, going around? It and, is. And, and music is so it's, it's, um It has a, a spot in my heart because that was, that was my first memories of my home was music going on. So oh, my home life as a child. Well, so. that's, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. well, thank you. Mm -hmm. And yourself, Jane? My, my hobby, sports. I love sports. I love to play sports, and I love to watch sports. I'm a big baseball, football, basketball, and hockey fan. And I played those three sports, four sports as a kid, and really enjoyed it. And my goal was really to become a professional athlete. That's what I would like to have done and become as an adult. But it never worked out that way. But uh, it's nice to be able to get up to Boston now and then because that's my favorite place on the planet. I love Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, nice. Love the people there, love the sports teams up there. And every any chance I can get up to Boston, that's where I want to go. And yes. get out there and enjoy it. I know, I know. Beantown, I Boston. I love the seafood up there. Oh, it's great. It's, uh, there's nothing like the deep water clams. The, be the best place to get seafood up there is a restaurant called Legal Seafood on State Street. Legal Seafood, right. Oh, yeah. And they actually, I, know, I can picture the little night neon signs now that they use. because I told her that there was, uh, the town itself hasn't changed much since they filmed Carousel in the 1950s. And I said, do you remember the bowling alley where you could play duck pins with the ice cream parlor <laughs> down on the dock? And she said, oh, I remember we used to love to go there. And I said, it's still there. <laughs> and she says, I'm going. And I, I did want to ask uh, this question. Is there someone that, that you would like to have met, whether, uh, whether they're alive or, or, or whether they're I guess for me that would have been Elizabeth Taylor. I always thought she was so lovely, and I've, I've, um, am reading a very old biography on mm. her that only takes her up to the Eddie Fisher years, and it's so enlightening, and I can so relate to her. Oh. Even having, you know, been a child actress with, with not the type of success that she had, but her mind and spirit, I think, was very beautiful. Oh yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mine would have to be Johnny Unitas, and uh, he was probably, to me, the greatest quarterback who ever played the game. I just used to marvel at watching him live at when the Colts, the Colts, the old Baltimore Colts, came to uh, the Los Angeles Coliseum. Oh, yeah. I loved watching him play, and that's the one person that I wished I could have met. I got to meet a lot of the other old uh, Baltimore Colts, the great Lou Michaels, defensive end, Billy Ray Smith, Fred Miller, or Ordell Brazy, and Alex Sandusky, the... Uh, the uh, uh, great offensive lineman for the for the Colts. Uh, 
I would have loved to have met Art Donovan too, who was an old old player with the Baltimore Colts. So that's that's who I'd really have liked to met to have met. I bet you have a wonderful baseball card collection. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I have I have sp I have a lot of sports memorabilia. Great. And that me it me meant so much to me. I kept it all. Well, that is no, no. Uh, Jeannie, do you do you have any anything that you collect, or do you have any? No. No. Well, no. <laughs> you're fortunate in a lot of ways. For those of us that do, we have no room for it. You know, it's hard to. I know in, in collecting it, it's mm -hmm. uh, it, it becomes an well, obsession uh -huh. in a way because yeah. you have to take care. Of, we take care of them, you know, mm -hmm. which is important. But I understand. <laughs> I wish I could be like I you. I like flat, clean surfaces. Good, good for you. I'm a minimalist. <laughs> we all aspire to be a minimalist. Minimalist. Flat, clean spines. <laughs> That's right. Well, you know, I, I I certainly thank you so much thank you. for both of your thank times you. and. And uh, continued success in in your fields, and I am. It's such a pleasure to meet you, and you, Thank you and you're, you just you appear to be such happy, happy people. You know, uh, <laughs> to have well, to you. have to have survived. You know, and in the in, in the industry and, and whatnot. And I know it is. It can be difficult, and uh, it's highs and it's lows, but uh, but you. You all have survived, and, uh, and you're such, you know, testaments to that. And I, I appreciate your spirit. It's been a great experience, and I apologize for the energy, energy level. I'm going on fumes right now uh, after I, three days you, of nonstop you, talking. So I you all, get you all are doing well. It's a wonder you have a voice left at yeah, all, yeah, or, that's, that's, or are able to even walk or even right, talk at the same time. Right. You know, oh, am I doing gum. that both at the same and time? Talking right? and talking and chewing gum, right? Okay, all, all right. The above, you know, it's like anyway. like myself. We feel like we're all like that in a way, yeah. you know, after this time. But I, again, I, I appreciate it, and and uh, and your charities with the with the cats yeah. and canine and, and companions. Canine companions. Do you have uh, email or website addresses for those? No, uh, it, you can look it on the web. It's a cat's tail. It's in Hermosa Beach, California. All right. And, and canine companions. I I am not sure where they are mm -hmm. exactly located. It's a national organization, All right. but um, yeah, it should be able to. Okay, well, be discoverable. Okay, thank, thank you. Well, thank you so much, much for your time. Thank you. And okay.